on the whole, lockdown has made me feel incredibly grateful for the things and people I've had around me, even if they're only on a computer screen. <laughs> um, certainly a challenging part of the pandemic has been that I haven't seen my mum, who's a care worker, and my brother, who's got special needs, for a very long time. Um, I'm not sure I class it as a high, but um, I, I guess certainly a, a positive from the, the lockdown has been that I've spent a lot more time at home. Usually I travel a lot, I'm away a lot, and it's meant that I've been able to see my partner a lot more, and I've been able to spend more time in the house, and I've had more time to think, reassess things, plan for the future. Um, I've enjoyed being outside and discovering new green spaces around me. I have hated not going to the pub. <laughs> I've I've really hated the news. <laughs> um, I've hated the fact that a lot of people have died. I've hated the way our government has dealt with the pandemic. My hopes for the coming months. I truly hope that the vaccine is a really positive thing and slowly things can start opening up safely. My fears is that things won't start opening up um, that selfishly that work I've got is going to be cancelled again or postponed. Um, and my wishes for the coming months are that everyone remains safe and we keep being as positive as we can and we're all hoping for a much brighter future. Uh, my experience of COVID-19, what does it look like? Oh, it looks like a lot of walks and coffee and Netflix and Zoom calls. <laughs> 